Hello and welcome back to the Radio Mechanic and today's vlog is just another quick repair tip on uh, a unit that again Dave over at the EEV blog uh, reviewed a while back I believe it was his vlog number uh, 542 and it's a uh, solder removal tool or desoldering tool vacuum station and for the price, it's about, uh, well, what did I pay for this? I think it was around $160 delivered. It's not a top of the line. It's another Chinese unit, but it does the job. But as Dave pointed out in his review of the unit, the holder for the gun is far too weak as it comes in the box to hold the unit up. As it comes out of the box, it does not have this little crutch there's only this little tab on the back and simply the weight of putting the gun in there bends that tab down and two or three of those this tab is going to break right off it leaves the gun sitting at an angle where it won't even stay in because it just slides back out so all I did is grab a piece of sheet metal strapping screwed it to the side it sits down on the edge and now there's plenty of support to hold it up it's fairly firm and it'll stay there the second problem I had with this one on the one that Dave reviewed there's a conical spring inside of his that captures the solder and when that's fairly full of solder you take the spring out and just manipulate it a little bit all the solder will fall out this doesn't have that it didn't come with it and looking at the spare parts online for this they don't supply that anymore there's nothing but a compression spring in here. The problem being is the hot solder shoots out the back of the tube. It's going to contaminate this filter that's at the rear. And you'll be changing filters constantly and having problems with the thing not having any vacuum. The quick fix, I simply placed a dime in the coil springs. The dime is a perfect fit for inside the tube. It allows enough air to pass so that the vacuum isn't impeded. And on the front side, as the hot solder comes in and hits the cold dime, it just solidifies right there. And whenever you see the buildups getting large, pop the dime out, flake the solder off it, put the dime back in. Another issue I found with this is the heating element stops approximately here. But the vacuum tube, internal vacuum tube, continues back to about here. If you don't let this unit fully heat up, and about you know five to maybe ten minutes worth of preheat time that section of the tube will not be hot enough for the solder to stay molten and after one or two joints it'll solidify in that tube and believe me it is a chore to get it to break loose I had to use a heat gun and heat the back of tried to completely disassemble it and heat the back of the tube till the solder was molten and shake it out as long as you let it heat up and get good and hot, it's not a problem. And it comes with some of these little ramrods. So what I'll do is, while I'm desoldering with the unit, I'll do two or three joints, and then I'll run one of these ramrods up through and just make sure that the passageway is clear so there's no solder buildup. Other than that, not a bad little unit. Uh, works fairly well. It's done a pretty good job for me so far for the money. If I was in a professional situation doing this every day I'd probably buy something a lot more expensive but for the for the price delivered it does the trick hope you found this useful please stop by again and thank you have a good day